Most of us zoom past the guardrails along our freeways without giving them much thought. But for Kathy and Mark Alonzo, that changed the day their daughter died. As soon as I saw the car, I started crying. And I said, this isn't going to be good. I can't even recognize her car. Isabella died four years ago after crashing head on into what her parents say was a Frankenstein guardrail section on I-75 in Peach County. Frankenstein because it was built with mixed match parts, essentially pieces from different manufacturers. Who would have ever thought about the guardrails, if they're safe or not safe? This is the section that's causing so much concern, the end of each guardrail treatment. There's just no way to know how it will respond when you start mixing parts and pieces because it's not crash tested that way. 11 Alive News investigates found at least three guardrail sections installed incorrectly. Then road safety advocate Steve Imers found even more. It's got to be two or three dozen, and I have not covered but a fraction of the roads in Georgia. While the Georgia Department of Transportation told us in 2022 it didn't believe this was a widespread issue, it did agree to do a system-wide audit. You did this audit. You're about two years in. What did you guys find? Roughly about 1,400 that had installation issues. According to inspection reports, more than half of those were Frankenstein. If there's a bolt on that that comes from a different model, it is no longer a qualified product. It should no longer be on our roadway. GDA spokesperson Natalie Dale says the other half had a critical piece installed backwards. If it's flipped, you don't have that curved space there. For the guardrail to slide through. Right, and so this could impede that movement when struck, which would cause it to be more rigid, which would cause sort of a higher severity in the crash. Dale says the installation errors represent less than 2% of the state's guardrail system. We held her hand while she passed away. There is no way to know what would have happened had this guardrail been properly installed. I would never want any other family to have to go through what we've gone through. Dale says there is now a system in place to keep deficient sections off the road. The conversation with y'all started in part as a really sort of opening our eyes to the issue of, of mixed match parts, of installation issues on our roadway. And Dale says it helped fuel changes to track and inspect repairs and better train the people making them. Our training was not where it is today. And that's the important part of where we're sitting now. Where we were sitting? is the Guardrail Garden, a new training site for GDOT employees and contractors to get hands-on experience. It was certainly based on conversations that we had with your team at 11 that we are where we are today and where other states are going to be because it's become sort of a national standard, a national conversation. Rebecca Lindstrom, 11 Alive News Investigates.